Welcome to Bogart's back alley, dude. <laughs> KO! Sharpen your flag! It's not the end! Let's party! Nobody blink! Subscribe, motherfucker! Alright. I'm sure this works. Garbage. Or shit. Yeah. 
Bullshit, I was taking that. Shit, huh? Oh, fucking hell, baldness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I'm dead. <laughs> hey, say what's up? What's going on, Bogart? Nothing. I've been having technical difficulties lately with the whole recording setup. That's why my microphone is acting weird. Yeah, you've been working on the, uh, the channel a lot, haven't you? I have been working non-stop on that channel. 
My major setback is every time I make an intro that's decent, like, it doesn't save, or somehow it saves over, and then I have to basically rebuild the whole intro, every single video, from scratch. Uh, you... <laughs> you have to find that and just save it off as its own separate thing to be able to copy and paste it in, right? Well, um, I, I thought that at first, but no good. GG. Um, I was trying to save it out, but then I would discover something that was that could be better, right? Like at first, yeah. I was using yeah, the pictures. We can improve. At first, I was using those little pictures, like the fan art shit, as my <laughs> sort of half intro or whatever. But now I've got it to where I can just play like a video like a full-on video as my transition and I can actually add a real transition instead of just sort of half-assing it like I did before right. and title cards and all that I got these new cool glitch transitions that make it look like you know stuff's going haywire there's like a whole slew of them I think there's like 17 of them Ooh. yeah pretty big toolbox and there wasn't just the glitch ones. The same dude that made the glitch ones made like spins and, and zooms and all this. So there's like all these crazy like transitions that I can play with now. But then like I almost got the intro nailed down with the transitions and then it was doing this weird bug. And I, I, I hope it's just a bug. Uh, like. I would want the footage to transition and then the transition to end at a specific point in the video so that you would just see the raw file at like a certain time code, right? And it kept giving me like a blank screen for like a certain period of time and it didn't matter like how much, it, it would always start after the transition though. Like, the last frame of the transition would be right, but then where it should be just raw footage, it was just like five, five seconds of blackness or whatever, and it, it, it's, it's annoying, but, so I had to try to like, tweak the whole intro to work around that weirdness, so then that made my intro longer, and I was trying to make it shorter. And it don't help that all of my footage is in super, super unorganized spots. I uploaded a video earlier today that showed like a, basically two uh, folders, properties on my PC that I... Oh folders that have mostly gameplay in them and stuff and they totaled to over three terabytes Jesus, you got a lot of footage yeah and i that's i want i hope that's not like all of it all of it because like um <laughs> i think i got some other hard drives disconnected right now and i hope that's where all the rest of that stuff went because there was like there was almost 12 terabytes altogether, and that was before i like Crank the, the resolution and all that like way up recently. Jesus, man, you got more storage than I do. I think I might have to start deleting my prawn. Yeah, probably. You can stream most of that shit, anyways, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> It, it makes it hard to navigate the Pornhub when my upload speed is getting remembered by YouTube uploads. Oh, really?
Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Hell no. Maximum sure you can. Apparently. Really? Yes. Balls. Maximum sure you Getting too predictable. <laughs> Need more sure you can in there. Bullshit, that Hadoken was totally supposed to be fierce sure you can just say it. Yeah, have some of that! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I went through hell trying to get the inputs to display on the screen properly because I was having like different input displays and they would the buttons would register but my joystick wouldn't well I finally got the joystick to work and you know what out of all the things on the internet it took someone to write an open source program that they recently abandoned just this year to get it to display on there. That doesn't really surprise me, but it is a little disappointing. I feel like that's a very specialized, a, a very specialized tool. And what's what's sad is like all the all the other programs and such that uh, are supposed to be the same thing, they aren't even as nice. This thing has a beautiful interface on it. Like, it's got a shit ton of preset mappings, preset uh, skins. It's got like Xbox 360, uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. Uh, GameCube, it, it, it's got a whole handful of them, and it's got a an option to add your own skins. So it's like, it's customizable too. You can set your dead zone. So is that like where it stops displaying the joystick input? Dead zone is uh, how far from neutral before it activates the switch. Ah, okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty intense. For, uh, it gives you... Customization. It gives you a readout of all your buttons and it tells you the number that Windows assigns to that button. It tells you when you're pressing each button. Uh, it gives you all your different access readouts, and all those are done in real time, and as well as access in uh, raw value, so decimal point value. And that was the secret. Something called force trigger mode. You, oh shit! What? Okay. Yeah, that's because I tapped you first. Oh 
my god! <laughs> Garbage! <laughs> I am very bad at aiming fireballs. But yeah, this this little guy here, it doesn't d display my... It only does up, down, left, and right. But when you move it fast, it kind of looks like it does directions. But if I just press a, uh, uh, a diagonal direction, it just says that it's at neutral. So it's whatever, but at least it works. I figured if I tried to get the diagonals working too, I'd probably just hang myself trying to fucking get it all right. Also, I've got a scoreboard set up now. It's gone through a few stages as well, but I think it's in pretty close to its final stage. Unless I can find that old XP skin, in which case then I'll, I'll build that. I'm so I totally tried going looking for that shit. There's this old ass fucking Windows XP skin. That was like some custom skin somebody made. And it was like hyper resonance or hyper resolution or some shit like that. It had some weird ass name. But it was this cool like silver gunmetal y kind of skin. And everything was like sort of um, angled off, like sort of boxy ish, right? Yeah, sort of like some uh, future spaceship stuff. Yeah, something like that, yeah. And my brother used to use it all the time, and I remember I liked the look of it, and I tried to use it. But it had this weird thing where, like, you know in the upper right-hand corner where there's minimize, maximize, and close? Those were, like, their respective colors, but it was, like, a little bit where it wasn't the window. Like, it wasn't a straight window. So you could, like, as long as you didn't have the window maximized then you could like click right click off into your desktop and still be like basically full screen Some, something like that but uh I was totally gonna take those fucking uh yeah I was gonna make a scoreboard out of that shit I got plenty of super going in the round too though, so it's fine.
Oh, oh shit! What did I specialize in? That's my department. What? <laughs> F meter will dodge fireball.
For the ultra, you have to combo into it somehow. For whose ultra? Yours. I think the super is fast enough to. to just There's sometimes where you can get away with just raw ultra. Ultra. Yeah, you have to like catch your opponent in the like they pushed a button, but their frames aren't active yet. Yeah, sometimes I don't, you can get I don't really forward. understand how to use it properly. What I like to do is uh, for me. what I like to do is get them both charged up, and then whiff one intentionally, or like use one raw so they do something like jump or whatever, and then rip them out of the sky with the other one. Yeah, I've seen you do that before. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I think I've been on the receiving end of that before. So. I've I've got to find what video it was that had all that crazy shit I was finding because it was like me versus you and it was Ken versus Akuma and I used Shin Ryukin and you used Wrath of Raging Demon like point blank and they activated at the same time. Like, I need to make that shit a highlight. But I need to put it in a video long enough for people to watch it. Cause like, having a highlight that's shorter than my intro is bad. So yeah, as far as the channel goes, intro and stuff, I gotta figure out how I made that progress bar. Because I wanna make that progress bar a thing. Eventually, I'll put like a shit ton of those loading bars in a single video, and I can put goofy shit in there, and I'll take like an old, uh, like the sound of an old ass hard drive from like Windows 95 era. You know how them hard drives get loud when they start reading? Oh, yes, I'll, I do. I'll put that sound effect in there, <laughs> and it'll be like, there'll be a couple of them that'll say like, uh, when it's filling up, it'll say cleaning blood stains from fight gloves. And then at the end, it'll say something like, uh, uh, 
let the beatdowns commence or something. And then another one will say, like, studying flowchart. And then at the end, <laughs> it'll say, lag switch engaged. <laughs> studying flowchart. I like that. As a, as a key component. And then maybe I'll, like, split the video in between loading bars and then like put like a glitch effect in there so it looks like the screen's freaking out oh yeah I don't believe I sent you the video with the progress bar, did I? Uh, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> that was a video I made as soon as I figured out I could do progress bars and make them like say whatever I want. That was an interesting startup. Yeah. Never had yeah, it depending do that on before. which one I use. She goes stationary, forwards, or backwards. Like on my screen, it showed me activate ultra, and it zoomed in on my face, and then you just saw lightning from behind my head, and yeah. you hear that. Yeah. That was cool. What I heard on my end. 